Edinburgh. You're very hilly. <laughs> it's the workout. It's this week's workout. Are you ready? <laughs> We've got to go up one of these Edinburgh staircases now. Are you ready? I didn't want to get my hopes up, guys, but... <gasps> It's a Christmas tree! And the whole room's decorated. Look at these, I really love these paper decorations. I want decorations like this. Little snowflake, or rather big snowflakes in the windows. Yeah, it's very cozy in here. How gorgeous. So, hi my loves, and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's week two of Vlogmas, and we have made our way up to Edinburgh. This morning, I rolled out of bed and went straight to watch the vlog at like 6 a.m. because I went to sleep before Zach finished it last night and as you know, it was a little bit of a marathon. It was a good, almost an hour. So um, yeah, I watched that, got that sorted, all the description box, thumbnail and everything and popped that live, got ready very quickly and then we rushed out the door to go to the train station. I usually leave as much time as possible before we get on the train because I absolutely hate running for trains. It makes me so anxious, but we made it, it was fine. Zach had three hours sleep. I had probably an hour more than you. It's because we were so busy on the weekend and then we wanted to watch our programs, which in hindsight seems like a stupid idea. Um, we wanted to watch um, His Dark Materials and Strictly and stuff. And then we packed and did the vlog, which was a bad idea. Um, and we are back in this gorgeous apartment. We we're here in summer if you haven't watched that vlog i will link it down below for you if you want like a summary edinburgh vlog we knew we had to come back to this apartment and i wanted to come up to edinburgh for christmas anyway so we are back for the christmas season and it's all decorated and it's so beautiful um i will do another quick tour in case you haven't watched that video so this is the gorgeous kitchen it's all like one big room really um five glorious windows we're on the royal mile so you know really in the center of things here and also it's a lot quieter when the fringe isn't on in terms of literally walking from the station to this apartment because the royal mile in the fringe is a nightmare lovely big bookshelf um i inspected this thoroughly last time and there's some real good books on there it's definitely a reader's bookshelf that and this lovely little sitting room I just love it, like, the, I just, this whole aesthetic, I love it, I'm obsessed. Also lovely tree. We were just talking about this type of tinsel with Zach's mum um, the other day. It's, what is it called? La, 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 la something. And then our bedroom is in this box. I was a bit worried because the windows are, there's, so, there's a lot of window and um, it looks single glazed to me, it might not be that it would be a bit drafty in here, but it's actually very nice and toasty. So I was thinking that we might need to actually sleep in the box properly, because in the summer we had, we had it open, because it was really warm. But it's looking very cozy in there. These look like new sheets, very soft. And then in the hallway we've got wardrobe, which I'm definitely gonna unpack, because we're here for a few days, and then the bathroom which is also lovely. I love this mirror, I love these prints, I said this last time. So, yeah, that's us back in our, our little second home. That's what I like to think of it as, as if I, you know, have any form of ownership over this, over this place. I'll put a link to the, to the Airbnb down below um, for you guys, because I know that you always ask when I post pictures of this place. And yes, I think we are just gonna chill for a minute and work out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day.
up all the stairs, but how gorgeous does this look? Hi, my loves. I don't know if you can see me at all. Um, my camera started doing this thing where it, the screen goes black when it's like when it thinks someone's looking at it, and obviously you're against the wall at the minute. But I'm just getting ready for bed, so I thought I would. Come on, say hello again. We, like I said, we went out to Scran and Scally, which is lovely. I don't remember going there. I think in my first year, maybe. I can't remember. But anyway, Zach and I spent most of the evening just chilling out, really. Um, or the afternoon, rather. And we just chilled out, I'm thinking a lot about <laughs> politics and the upcoming election. Um, it seems to be kind of foremost in my mind at the minute, and I can't really kind of get over it. Obviously, by the time that this video goes up, I'm going to know uh, what the new government is. And that thought alone makes me feel very nervous. Um, obviously, like I said in my last vlog, I have voted Labour. And I explained why in my last vlog. I don't know how hopeful to be in the opening, uh, opening moments of this vlog. I'm just getting ready for bed. I am wearing my new white company pyjamas. I bought me and Zach um, some Christmassy-ish pyjamas. White company doesn't do anything particularly, like, obviously Christmassy. Although these ones I thought were actually really Christmassy. They're like little shooting stars. It's in a really soft jersey and it's so, so nice. I'm kind of obsessed with white company at the minute because I want to buy all my sheets from there when we move into the house. Got us some soft pyjamas, some kind of Christmas treat pyjamas. And I brought them up to Edinburgh for our first wear. And I'm loving mine. I'm definitely going to wear them all the time, probably all throughout the year. Um, oh my goodness, you guys. I am exhausted. It's like it can't be later than 8.30. It's 8.20. Um, and Zach's already asleep. I am super into sleep. We got barely any sleep last night and I don't think either of us really slept well over the weekend either. So I'm so ready to sleep. I'll probably read myself to sleep. Currently reading um, Kelly Link's short stories. Um, it's called Get in Trouble. Um, they're really hit and miss at the moment. I kind of thought for a minute about giving up on them. I was like, oh, I don't know, I should probably push through. But yeah, some of them really good, some of them, well, I've only read two. One of them was really good, one of them was really, really bad. Anyway, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you, finish up my skincare routine, brush my teeth, and get myself into bed. Um, I've just unpacked while Sat was sleeping, because um, we didn't do it earlier because we were too lazy. But I feel better now I've unpacked as well. But yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow in a few seconds for you. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back. Zach and I had an absolutely mammoth, I think it was, 15 or 16 hour sleep. And it felt so good. We were like two little kittens in that box, all warm and cozy in the darkness. And it didn't help that it is a miserable day today in Edinburgh. It is really windy. I don't know if the wind sound will come up on the camera, but I've um, been listening to it all morning. And it's raining, and I'm thinking today is probably not the day to go gallivanting around the Christmas markets. Just got some scrambled eggs and toast. Um, the owner of this Airbnb is always very generous and leaves the breakfast, which is so nice. So yeah, not sure what we're gonna do. My friend is gonna come round in a minute um who lives up here and we're gonna have a little chat i guess about what to do whilst it's miserable outside but to be honest it's just nice to be in the city because uh, it's like a second home
which weren't very excursion-y today. Um, we went and sat in the pub with Kath for a few hours, then went to dinner at Noto, which was nice. I feel like some of the smaller plates would have been nicer. The crab was the best. The crab was really nice. Um, the bao buns were really quite bad, too much. Yeah, the bao buns were not so great. So it was a mixed bag, but it was mostly nice. Um, and we then we've come back because we are two tired people. I think we definitely overslept today. And now we're sleepy and just feeling chill. So we've come back to relax, probably watch something. It's disgusting outside. It's horrible outside. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So we are definitely going to hit the Christmas markets tomorrow and do our wandering around then. But for now, we're just going to enjoy having the apartment to ourselves and just chilling out. It's been a nice day though, it was really lovely to see Kath, gonna see her again on Friday because it is Eggmas, you guys don't know, me and my uni friends call each other eggs, it's one of those things that is difficult to explain, but, um, and Christmas with eggs is called Eggmas, and that is what's happening this weekend, so I will be seeing Kath not too long, few days, and then we will be down in Oxfordshire having, having Eggmas a fun time but yeah me and Zach are gonna think of something to watch I think so we can watch something together and then go to bed again go back into our little uh, our little box and curl up which I'm excited about <laughs>
back at the apartment. I have obviously changed. We're basically playing catch up with pictures because I didn't take any on Monday. And then yesterday was obviously miserable. So I've changed back into my bauble outfit as I like to think of it. Um, this is the Writers Museum by the way. It's kind of cute in there. Might have a little peek. But yeah, heading to the Christmas markets now, now that it's getting a little bit darker and a bit cosier. <laughs> market wanderings it was very nice um we had hot chocolate it was very which was very indulgent i had a glue vine um and then we went to the ivy for a couple of drinks because it was freezing and i was not wearing an appropriate outfit i wasn't wearing one of my kind of edinburgh specials which usually involves like a jacket sorry a jumper a jacket and a coat I was I was not well equipped. So we popped into the Ivy out of sheer freezingness and then we came back to the apartment. I've changed again for the final time. And we are gonna head to dinner. What's it called this place? Hazel. Hazel, right, okay. Do you know what I mean? An aisle of a supermarket. No, it was Hazel and with a Z. Oh. With a Z. Mm. Okay. Anyway. A I Z L E. A I Z L E. Anyway, we're gonna go there. Um and it's quite near my old Flats, which is nice. Hi, my love. So we got up in a little bit of a rush this morning. Today is Thursday. It's election day. We are nervous. Um, Zach's still got to vote later on. I obviously did a postal vote. <sighs> I'm feeling far too hopeful, I think, at the moment. I feel like I'm gonna be disappointed. But anyway, um, leaving this gorgeous apartment. We're leaving a bit earlier than we thought we had to, that hence why I kind of rushed to get ready and pack and stuff. We're gonna go put our luggage somewhere, somewhere in the city, and go and chill for a few hours, a few last hours. Um, but it's been lovely, another wonderful stay, and I'm looking forward to coming back again. Probably in summer. Hi guys, so we are back from Edinburgh. Um, our train was delayed and it was all very slow and very boring but I did start a new book so I have I hate when I give up two books in a row because I'm like are you just giving up these books because you can't be bothered but also at the same time that that logic doesn't work but I basically gave up with Caddy Link's Get In Trouble I read the first second and last story um, but I heard from various reviews that all the ones in the middle were not so great so I was like do you know what I'm gonna save myself the trouble and skip to the last story because, yeah, I wasn't entirely sure about it. Like, the first one was really good. The last one wasn't, was kind of weird, um, which is her style. But anyway, yes, I wasn't entirely sure about the stories. So I was like, I'll just read the ones that people think are best and then I'll just move on. Um, but I've started The Heart's Invisible Furies, which is like 700 pages long, 
but I am loving it so far. It is so, so good. So I know I'm not being just being lazy. I've just had a couple of books I've not gotten with in a row. Um, so I've moved on to that, which I'm loving so far. So we are at the polling station. I'm just sat outside in the car. Zach's gone in to vote. Um, and then we are going to head out to the farm. We're doing a bit of a crazy thing this evening. I don't think I've said yet. What have I said? We're going to go out to the farm, decorate it, get all the food we need, and then come back in the morning um, for various things. We need to meet a flooring guy at the house. Um, I'm gonna take one of my mates out. Otherwise, I guess I could have stayed out there, but Zach needs to be here because he needs, to, he's gonna bring the dog and my sister out. Um, so, may as well just both come back and, yeah, anyway. It's a long and boring story, but anyway, we're gonna go out to the farm tonight. It's not that long of a drive, really, especially at this time of night. So, um, it should be fine and we can get stuff sorted. But yes, just patiently waiting for Zach to finish voting. Feeling good? Yeah. So I haven't spoken to you in quite a while um, because on Thursday night I suddenly got quite unwell, I ended up throwing up overnight, um, I don't really know why or how, and then yesterday I was trying to recover whilst also um, bringing my friends out to the farm. Um, so we are here for our kind of Christmas weekend, I'm obviously pretty devastated. About the results of the election which I think I'll talk about in a bit. But for now we are having just a Christmasy weekend. We just got up this morning. So last night we had we went to the pub, had some dinner there and then came back, watched the holiday and went to bed and then this morning we've just been for a walk. So Zach please insert footage of the walk now. we're gonna head to the garden center and get the tree and decorate that which I'm so excited about but yeah it's been a lovely morning excited to get the tree I 
said goodbye to all my friends. I had a bath and had a nap because I'm exhausted. Um, I had such a nice weekend though. And now I'm gonna eat some mince pies and just, I've been relaxing really all afternoon. I'm gonna continue to relax for a little bit longer and try and delay doing anything productive. Hi my loves, the time has come to end the vlog. Um, it has been a lovely weekend, it's now Monday, um, I was supposed to leave yesterday but I was feeling too unwell. I'm gonna go back to London now for a few days and just finish up various bits and bobs, got a couple of jobs to shoot and yeah, just got a few more things to do before Christmas and then we're gonna go to Yorkshire next week, um, this weekend even, and then it'll be Christmas so it's all very exciting. So yes, don't know how much I got filmed this weekend, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit sparse. Um, but yeah, I had a lovely time. And obviously, as I said before, I am pretty devastated by the election result. Um, but it has at least given me a kick up the arse to do more. I feel like I should have done more. And I'm going to be thinking of ways in the new year to help support people around me and communities around me um, in other ways. So I'll be thinking about that and um, I will get back to you on that. But it was very, very sad on Thursday night. And I feel sad that I probably won't be able to vote for another manifesto of that kind for many, many, many years to come, um, if at all. So we will see what happens next. But um, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this week. It's been a crazy one. I feel like I've been all over the place. I think that's why my immune system's a little bit run down because I am just quite tired um, and have overindulged a little bit as well. Um, so I'm looking forward this week to just giving that a rest a little bit before Christmas starts again basically um, at the end of the week so I've got to rest up I think and try and sort myself out but yeah thank you guys for watching and I will see you again next week bye